In this video, I will explain you what is linear regression with example and I will relate it with math. So let's begin. Regression is showing relationship between variables and on the basis of that do predictions. And linear regression is showing relationship between two variables, one dependent and second one is the independent and on the basis of that do predictions. If you don't know what a variable is, think of it like this. In your house, you have a box. In that box, you store your old stuff like twice. So that box is a variable and, and our toy is the value in this. So same like this is variable. So like you created a variable name age and in that you store a value of your age that is 24. So whenever you call that variable age, you get the value 24. So that is variable. What is dependent and independent variable? So let's look at this for this example. So let's suppose you buy a new RTX 3090 and you are selling your old RTX 3060. So you are predicting the price on which you will sell your old 3060. So whenever you are predicting, so that variable is dependent variable. On the basis of hours you are predicting the price. So that on the basis of which you predict is independent variable. So linear regression equation is y is equal to mx plus b where y is equal to dependent variable and x is equal to independent variable where m is the slope of the line which means per unit change in x how much value will be changed in y and b is the intercept which means if the value of x is equal to 0 what will the value of y so i will explain this with a project so the project is predicting the price of vintage car so we will do this in four steps which is collecting data Second is calculation and third is predicting the price and fourth is visualizing it. So first we will collect the data for X year old how much the price will be. So second we will do calculation. Just look here age and price here. So age is the age and price is the data we have collected. So X is independent variable and Y is dependent variable. So here we have collected the data. First we will calculate the mean of X. So we will add this all 8 plus 10 plus 12 and we will divide by how much the value is we have 1, 2, 3 value is. So the uh, mean is equal to 10. So we will uh, same for the mean of Y. We will uh, add the value of Y here price which is and then we will divide it by 3. So the value is 13. So now we have to calculate deviation. So deviation in we have to do is that first we will calculate deviation of x. So we will minus 8 minus 10 which is equal to minus 2. 10 minus 13 is equal to 2 and 0 means and 12 minus 16 is equal to 2. And same we will do with deviation y which is uh, 10 minus 13 is equal to minus 3 and so on. 13 minus 13 is equal to 0. 60 minus 13 is equal to 3 and now we will do product of deviations so we will multiply this x and deviation x and deviation y which is my we will multiply it here like this all three and the value we get here is minus minus plus 6 0 6 and we will do next sum of product of deviation so we will plus it all so the value we get is 12 next we will do square of deviation for x so here what we will do is we will square x so deviation x so minus 2 minus 2 in oh, square is equal minus 2 square is equal to 4 because it is in plus and 0 square is equal to 0 here and 2 square is equal to 4 so here we have done this much stuff so now here is our equation y is equal to m x plus b so here we have our y already and m also here we have already uh, sorry m not x we have already and we have to calculate m and b so here you can see that y and x is there okay y is here our x is here okay now we will calculate m and b so in order to calculate m this is the formula sum of product of deviations divided by sum of square of deviation for x so so here we will do here m so what is the sum of product of deviation let's look sum of product of deviation is equal to 12 divided by 8 which is sum of product of square of deviation so we will plus it all here 
so which is the value our 8 so we will divide it so when we divide it what value we get we get 1.5 okay now we have done here now we will calculate b b is equal to mean of y and m minus m into mean of x so what is mean of y let's show you here so mean of y so this is mean of y this is 13 and m and m is our this we have 1.5 which have we have calculated here you can see here 1.5 is our and uh, and we have to mean of x we have to multiply it with mean of x which is 10 so let's do it sorry for writing like this but i am not used for used to use graphic tablets so here is 13 minus 1.5 in bracket into 10 13 minus 5 15 is equal to minus 2 so here we have done we have find a b and now we will visualize it so let's visualize it so now we have get the b so we, this means that we will visualize it now so i have visualized it you can see this here so x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 2 so i have visualized it by positive regression and uh, here you have the uh, the price we have gotten and age we have gotten i have showed it here so x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 10 so here is 8 and y is equal to 10 which you can see this and same for x is equal to 10 then y is equal to uh, 12 which is the price independent and dependent variable and and now when is somebody give you to you that uh, calculate this predict this if the age is 40 years old and now you predict the price so you can easily do that because you have m which is 1.5 and now you have gotten this uh, uh, now you have got uh, gotten this x which is 40 so and you have also b so you can do minus 2 and now we can multiply it this is 60 minus 2 now we have got $58. Hopefully you have understand this.